Hi guys, what's up? So what are ways of finding new and cool artists that do the kind of art you like? Well, you can go online and go on the internet and, uh, and check out the art there, but usually it's just from the same artists you already know or people that the algorithm recommends. Just randomly, you might just find a really cool art piece with someone's name on it, and then you're like, that's interesting, I'll follow this person and see more, and see more of their art. But there's a great way of doing it. There's something called um, Spectrum, which is pretty cool. This is Spectrum 19, and I think they're up to Spectrum 27 or something like that right now. Um, and every year this comes out, and it is a pretty thick book. And it's not the only book that you can get to find new artists, but this is one of the best books, especially if you like fantasy, science fiction, that kind of, kind of like far out fantastic art. Um, check out this because like, what you get in here, you get everything from more popular artists to um, up and coming artists to like newer artists. You get some older artists that everybody already knows uh, that have been around for a while and people like. And you get like newer artists that maybe they're newer or maybe they're not really that well known, but they have really, really cool art. So what's cool about this book is that it can like, you could pretty much like open to like any page because like, every page is art on it all right so you could put like any page you can just like open to anything and on it is going to be like weird weird cool or like all different kinds of art on it and what's interesting is even like dinosaurs and stuff so what's different, what's interesting is like, it goes from everywhere from James Gurney, who does these dinosaurs, who is really well known, to other artists that are not that well known, but that are really, really cool, right? See, this is like more art from people, because like the people that are well known, there's only like, like a handful of those people that you really like, that are really good, that are really well known. But people that do good art, there are like thousands of people that do good art. And this is one of the books that really um, puts them all together in one book. Everything from, you know, people that are less well known to people that are more well known and different kinds of art, you know, basically like fantasy genre kind of stuff. So if you're into this kind of art, um, check it out. Like if you're into like modern art or any of the other kind of art, then it's not really this book. Um, this is more of like illustrative art, realistic art, fantasy art, and stuff like that and let me see I mean it, it's it's like and it's just like pages and pages of stuff just random stuff you know whether you like it or not there's there's just so much of it in here and what's really really cool is underneath it it's got um, the the person's name right they got the person's name like right underneath it ah. and um, yeah it's really cool. And a lot of like the people that get, um, some of the people that actually choose the kind of art that's in this book are probably some of your favorite artists that you've already heard of before. I think Michael Whalen is one of the people that really decides like what work is gonna go in here. And there's other artists that, that are just like, they, they get chosen to decide what should be in this book and what shouldn't be in the book and stuff. Cause like a lot of people submit their stuff in this book, but not everyone gets in. However, a lot of people do because you can see the thickness of the book. But it is said that this book doesn't make you popular. You know, like if you like doing art and you want to be well known, just getting into this book doesn't make you popular. People get into this book and they always say what well, didn't really do anything for their career, you know? But, um, but yeah, but it is, really cool and it's just a really good way of really finding artists that you didn't know existed so like say um you know you flip through the book and you see something you like right maybe there's like oh that looks nice right so you check it out right and um and you're like okay well that looks nice well let's see who that is and then you look at the name right and then you can go on to their social media just type in the name on their social media and then you'll see more of their work so you'll decide whether this artist is worth following or not you know uh but as you can see like there's a lot of cool stuff in here you know these are really cool 
and um, like these guys are kind of well known. Well, I kind of know who they are, but they're kind of well known. They're actually pretty good. They consistently do really, really good art. Um, and uh, it's some of these are just some of these are really cool. I like this one. And um, yeah, some of these are really, really cool. So it's great because like the whole book is really worth it because it's like 30, okay, this was $35. Okay, yeah, you know, whatever. It, it's it's really worth it because it's got like, I don't know, like a, a, a few hundred different, you know, paintings in here and drawings and photographs of uh, 3D art and sculptures and stuff like that. And it's awesome, you know, here we go. Yeah, I think, I think it's like, I'm not sure. I think this is like the people that are, um, these are the dudes that kind of like decide on what art should go in there. I think I'm pretty sure. I know Michael Whalen does, uh, these other guys also. I don't know the other ones too much. Uh, oh, Tara, Tara Whitlatch, some of, these, some of these guys. And they're like, yeah, they're really, and the amount of, the amount of art in here is just like amazing. So that's really, really cool. And, um, yeah so and there's like some awards in here you know some people that get awards like this is a gold award i got that one and then there's another one that did a silver award which is that one okay gold award silver award so that's pretty cool there's actually like a, an award there's like pride this like an award that you can get i guess i guess they pick like what they feel like is the best one out of here and give it awards like number one, number two, number three and whatever. So yeah, now the thing is uh, these books, they come out every year and every year, like it's worth getting definitely because you know, I always get these and um, it's really great because otherwise it's, it's like really hard to find like really good artists or really good art because just searching like on social media, you'll see what's like relevant or whatever, or what pops up. But a lot of times you're not going to really see like it with such regularity as what's in this book, because you have like, I don't know how many pages is in here. Like, let me see. It is like, okay, the amount of, it's about 300 pages of art in the book. And each page is like one piece of art or like two pieces or three pieces of art. So there's like around 500 different artists and, and paintings in the book. So that's why I like these books so much. They're really cool. And it's really a great way to actually find new artists. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna like see art you like, you might like something, you might not like something, but there's always, always cool stuff that you might like, like, you know, like there's really interesting things in here. And what I really found and the reason, like, I think this is better uh, this is probably one of the best ways of fun. If you like fantasy and sci-fi and that's kind of art or like fantastic art or comic book art or whatever, you know, the reason I think this book is the best way to find artists, um, is because I've seen other compilation art books be, you know, also, but this seems to be like the most content in a compilation art book, like any compilation art book, any art book where there's a lot of different artists and there's a compilation and there's like, they just have a lot of different artists in there. Some of them you'll know, some of them you won't know. You might like like a piece of art and go, oh, this is interesting, this is nice. And then check out the artist and then see their social media and you can see more of their art and you decide like whether you want to like follow them or buy their art or like put it on your wall or whatever it is, like what, if it resonates with you. And um, this is the coolest one because this is the coolest way to find artists because this gives you the most content um, that you can get. Like the book is cool by itself and it comes out every year, but the amount of art that's in here is just like, if, if there's 500 pieces of art, there's probably around 400 something different artists uh, featured in here. And out of that, I guarantee you'll find like some really cool artists you'll find like people you know that you like, so you like, you, you get their art because you already know them and like them, but there's other people's art that you'll like check out for the first time. Now there's another way of really like finding artists, of course, is going to art um, art shows and stuff like that, like LuxCon or like uh, maybe like Comic Con 
artist gallery shows and you know stuff like that or like maybe certain uh, galleries that do like collections of arts and they do that once in a while you know depending on the gallery but galleries are like mostly fine art and this is mostly like illustrative fantasy art and I like the fantasy art a lot 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 more and um, go just going to a gallery you'll see maybe a few pieces here and there of different artists maybe some of their work uh, but when you um, but you know unless there's there's a fantasy art exhibit happening then I really recommend checking that out because usually you get really the best artists in there that do like the best paintings and everything is like oil or or, or some kind of like real traditional method painting you know where you see the actual painting and you can look at it up close and it's like wow because in a print or like in a book or something like that you don't see the actual painting um, and I think prints really really get the painting really really well but you don't see the actual painting in the print. You'll see like a photograph of it. And a lot of times it's a large painting and the print is like a small, like eight and a half by 11 sort of, you know, like printer print. Um, and so that's really cool. If you ever get a chance of, you know, like whatever, if there's a collection of like artists that are happening at the same time, there's, there's sometimes there's like, there's these, um, galleries that do have like some fantasy art happening um galleries and but the thing about these shows is you can only like it's for it's for like a month and you have to get there during that month and go see it and it's a lot of different floors and then you go from here to there and stuff like that and it's really really cool you don't really get a chance like you could sit there for for a few hours and look at everything or you don't really, really get a chance to really, really see everything like you would if you like bought the print or or got a book where you can actually look at it and stuff like that, even draw it, you know, like play play around with drawing it yourself and stuff like that. It's always awesome because whatever art you like, if you draw it, that's really, really cool. You want to kind of draw the art that you like that other people are making. Um, but and, and, and though, those are great, but usually uh, those kinds of shows are already established artists, people you already know who they are. Maybe you'll like learn about one or two more artists you didn't know about, which is cool. But I just find like, I buy this because I like to learn about more artists. I like to follow other artists. I like to see things that I don't, I wouldn't otherwise see. Like I wouldn't normally see a, col a like a huge collection of fantasy art in any other place. So uh, there are other books that do that, um, which is cool because I always get those and I always like look at those and everything and just enjoy them. Or, or, you know, if there's something I really, really like, of course I'll look up the artist. I'll be like, wow, what is, you know, what is this? And I'll look at more of their stuff. But, um, you know, but, but basically like those books are usually smaller and stuff. And these are huge. Like when these came out, when these started coming out, they were small, they were like one third the size. And they were also not like $35. They were like, I don't know, $16 or something. They were a lot, lot cheaper. So when you get the older versions, the the few the, the older books, which is like Spectrum 9 and Spectrum 10, um, they're a lot, lot cheaper. But I just do think that for $35, it's not too bad. I think it's worth it because it's like, I, I you know, I just think that because the amount of art that's in here is just really, really cool. And it's, I think it's worth it because then you'll find like other artists that you like. So for example, like if you like this, right? So you check it out, you're like, that's cool. And then like, there's the artist. So, so this one would, you know, this one says like Mike, Mark Poole on it. And it tells you like, this is an oil painting, how big the original was and what the name is and everything. And, and the client, I guess that was, yeah, that was the client is just like who they made the art for which is interesting. Uh, they might actually like looking up the client, you might see other artists that also do like this kind of art. Cause usually the client uh, likes a certain kind of art and the artist tries to do that certain kind of art for the client. So if you like that certain kind of art and you check out the client, you probably see a lot of artists on their pages also and stuff like that. Um, you know, so I really like doing this uh, because I just really like to see the newest art and what's cool about like checking this out and then following the artist on social media is that you'll see their coolest art you'll see their newest art you'll see the stuff that they're working on you'll see the stuff that they just did not like a the stuff they did a few years ago or 10 years ago whatever it is 
you know, you'll see stuff that they just did or they were just working on or or whatever it is. And just some of these are just like, I've never heard of this artist, but look at that, that's amazing. That's really, really cool. And that's um, that's done by Clint Searly, you know? And I look, that's just really cool. And it's like an artist I would not have ever even known of this artist or this painting if I didn't see it in this book. I just wouldn't know it. You know, like here's one by Steve Argyle, who I, I kind of know, oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, yeah, so I mean, some of these are, they're, I mean, they're artists, they're artworks. So, uh, you know, they're all different. You know, you'll like some of them. Maybe you'll recognize, you'll definitely recognize some of the artists if you like this kind of art. Because they also have like the bigger names in art or the guys that have been doing this since the 70s and 80s in here. So that I like those guys and I like, I like all these, all these people, but sometimes you'll just get you're just gonna get like all it's all over the place with different people and stuff like that you know so yeah so let me know what you guys think uh in the comments and please like and subscribe to my channel and like my video and i will see you guys in another video take care